Hey everyone, welcome back. So today I'm in London, just near Canary Wharf, to go and check out another worst rated hotel. Now this hotel has had mixed reviews, some good, but also over a thousand terrible reviews. Some people talking about cockroaches, some people even talking about mice that they've seen in their bedroom and in the hallways. I'm here to check out the International Hotel here in London. Let's go and see if it's as bad as what some people make out. See where there's water been leaking down here on the floor. What on earth is that? Is there a V missing off that? Valves? You know, when you're walking around the hotels and you see all these splatters, it does make you think, what on earth is it? Like along here, what's that all about? People have clearly missed the bin. Look at this. One good thing about this hotel, it's in a really good location if you want to explore London, just here by the river. And what I find really interesting is it's just there in front of me and it's the one with hardly any lights on whatsoever. Not even the sign is lit up. Well, it kind of looks like it's closed <laughs> at the minute. This is one big hotel. Look at that, as you turn up, there's a big skip outside. <laughs> Some beds in there, I think. It looks very grand. Yeah. For your floor six. Does this include breakfast? No, sorry, unfortunately. How much is breakfast? 12.50. 12.50, okay. All right, thank you. Okay, so um, I did book a basic room in the basement. I didn't know it was in the basement. Um, however, they've put me on floor six now. So uh, this will be interesting to see what I get. Six, two, five. Now this is one big hotel. Gonna be corridors and corridors to explore, no doubt. Here it is. <laughs> Interesting wallpaper. Well, first impressions, it doesn't look that bad. Oh, the lamp's not working. That's a shame. Does this lamp work? At least that lamp works. Now the first thing that springs to mind, right, in this room is the wallpaper. Yes, it's dated, but for some reason, people that have stayed here like to pick at it. And here, it's the first thing I noticed when I came in, certainly a bit random. Chandeliers feature a lot in this hotel. Have I got a view? Six floors up. Well, obviously it's dark, so we'll see a better view during the daylight. Obviously a nice stain there, but I think that must obviously be condensation. The chair's all worn. Obviously had, oh, <laughs> why is it slit there? Again, the furniture in these rooms are, as expected, very unusual. This chair just does not go with this room, does it? I mean, I don't know where they found this chair from. It doesn't really go with the uh, furniture which again is really badly chipped. I mean, this furniture looks so old. There's a handle there that's broke off, but the hair dries in there. That handle's bust, I think. Just like how chipped that is. I mean, this is almost like uh, an antique. I mean, look at this. You don't get many hotels with big mirrors in like that. And you can see here <laughs> where people have clearly missed the bin when they're putting their maybe tea bags, I don't know. The plug sockets look just really old. I mean, I don't think I've ever seen plug sockets like that before. Nice plastic tray, nice big kettle, and this kettle looks pretty good, looks pretty clean. 
with that as well, I've got two humongous mugs and some milk, coffee, tea and sugar. Interesting decor either side. A bit risque. Now on the face of it, the bed looks pretty good. I will do the bed test again in a moment, but it's two beds pushed together as always. Now there's one good thing that I'm happy about and that's there's no divan. So, you know, I know that some people get freaked out, including myself with the whole bed bug thing. And I know that divans cause lots of problems. And let's do the bed test. Oh, now that's hard. I was expecting to bounce off that. Yeah, I can. Wow, that is hard. Not many springs in this and I can really feel the bottom of the bed. And then you look at the mattress and it's that horrible, lovely brown color. And this is why this is so, you know, and then you feel that and this is pretty hard and there's nothing wrong with those pillows. The only thing that's wrong with these pillows is they're really, really, really thick and chunky. So I think uh, it will just be one pillow rather than two. It's that same old problem where one might be too low, but two is too high. It always does freak me out when I see black bits on the bedding. I don't think they're what I think they are. At least I hope not. I think they must just be bits of lint. Obviously these beds are pushed together and they're actually on two separate mattresses because you can see the join just there. So when you roll over, that's gonna, that's gonna hurt. Got a Bible and a phone that again does work, but there's no numbers to call reception or, or anything. It's got air conditioning. Okay, the soundproofing in these rooms are not very good. I can hear people next door. So into the bathroom. Now, the first thing you'll notice about this room, it is very 90s, something like, we used to have a TV show here called um, Keeping Up Appearances. And it does remind me with that, especially with the curtains and the wallpaper and the bathroom follows that trend as well but I can't say there's anything wrong with it. I mean, pretty spotless with the mirror. You got your shower gels here, plastic cups, the sink, which obviously looks nice and clean, quite dated. Even the toilet roll has been folded over. Interesting light. And again, like the bath, definitely from the 90s, very retro. You know, people have been saying to me in the comments, one day you're gonna find one of these hotels where you struggle to find anything bad. Could this be that hotel? Although that doesn't shut very well. Well, the room seems fine. Yes, it feels tired, it feels dated. Um, doesn't overly smell that bad. Didn't see any major problems. I think I might be happy staying in here. But what's the rest of the hotel like? Let's go and check it out. like a secret lift. Where does it go? Where does it work? I guess it's for staff. Better not use it then. Definitely carpet's been worn. If this is a fire exit, I've never seen a fire exit with a nice carpet like this. <laughs> fire? Is there a V missing off that? Valves? You know, when you're walking around the hotels and you see all these splatters it does make you think what on earth is it and like along here what's that all about more splatters up against the wall so we've got a bar jenny's diner a lonely leather chair now either it hasn't been hoovered recently but i don't know if you can just see the floor so that's jenny's restaurant that's going to be open for breakfast i think in the morning Wow, look at the piano. That's like a new piano. Should I do my EastEnders? This is weird. Where does this go? There's just more rooms down here. Wacky carpet. With the pink walls. I can't tell whether the carpet's new or dirty. This is so different to where I've been staying. <laughs> wow. Colour is brilliant.
Whoa. This is like super bright. Looks like this has just been painted. This goes green down here. This is just like a labyrinth. There must be so many rooms in this hotel. I've just realized that this is the basement and it smells very clean, very fresh, and also very new. I wonder what the rooms are like. More rooms this way. This is, oh, this is actually getting painted as we speak. I can't tell if the floor is dirty yeah, it is dirty. Or oh, it's just the style. Yeah, it is pretty grim. I'm sure they're going to replace all this. The, the basement area is just literally a labyrinth of room after room. Like, where do you go next? It's crazy. Obviously, all this is getting sorted out, which is good to see. Definitely needs some new carpet because... Uh, what on earth is that? The carpet down here is really grim. I don't know where this lift goes. You need a key to operate it. The heck? Why is this? There's another lift there. <laughs> this is just open like this. I actually saw some photos on TripAdvisor of this. There's um, there's something there for I think mice or rats, but they've clearly had some problems. But this is. Um, how people get to their rooms down in the basement. Obviously they've had some flooding down here. Okay, so if I was down here, I would not be happy. People's rooms actually down here? With all this exposed? People's rooms are still down here. Maybe they're just not sending people down here at the minute, but yikes. Well, they are because that's been all painted. You can see where there's water been leaking down here on the floor. <laughs> it just goes on and on. I have to say, there are a lot of rooms down here in the base. I don't like it at all. It's really spooky. So many rooms down here. It's just ridiculous. Look, they just keep going. It's like three or four different hotels rolled into one. Corridors, endless rooms. You can imagine why it's taking so long to update this hotel. Let's go this way. You can certainly see parts of the hotel that have not been upgraded. Look at the carpet down here and the walls. Yikes. Oh, this is creepy. Never seen a hallway that goes around not particularly straight. Someone's having a party. What's that? Oh, a bit of carpet. Oh, once again, this whole entire lift thing, I think, is, uh, is not working very well on every floor. That the floor changes again. <laughs> it's like I'm in a different hotel again. Like they're just doors off doors off rooms and... I don't think this carpet has been hoovered in a while. I don't like this part of the hotel at all. Once again, the crazy furniture. Wow, that looks pretty cool in there. That's Friday's bar. I think it's getting ready for a party or something. So this is the penthouse lift. Which is currently closed for repair, but I guess if you're in the penthouse, this is where you'd go, right? Let's go right to the top floor. Look at these stairs. Now this might well be really old carpet, but it's still in pretty good condition. Going back in time. When I thought I would walk up the six floors, oh, carpet's changed. Spooky light. And I've reached the 13th floor. Listen to the wind. That is well scary. Obviously they've had problems with the, uh, the window because there was a big bit of wood going across. 
Yikes. Just below us is the penthouse rooms, I think. I wondered why it smelled nice. Now I know. Center, never seen that before. And if you are on the 13th floor, it's probably not a good idea to use the lift. Thought they would have covered that up. What's through here? Ooh. Whoa, there's like a balcony there. Obviously I'm not gonna open it because it's obviously alarmed. There's another one. It's on the big balcony that goes along there. I saw that whilst I was up there. These green sofas. They're everywhere. It's quite a grand lobby. I don't know if you've noticed, at the front here, they've got a little scale model of the actual hotel. Wow, have you ever seen a bar within a bar with the... It's like in a cage. Wow, what a view this has though, over the water. Look at this, with the lights. It's amazing. I have to say, I'm pretty impressed with this hotel. I thought it was closed like today. Like but, okay, so this is the only one to get food, is it? Okay. So in here is pizza. Now I know where that chair has come from upstairs. It's come from in here. It's a pizza menu. Can you take it to your room? Yeah, you, you can you want to take, you can. Yeah. I'll have a look, I'll think about it and come back if that's okay. No problem. Good morning. The view, however, from this side of the hotel is not overly that great. That bed was so uncomfortable. I mean, literally, it felt like I was just laying on this. It was just uh, hardly any cushioning and just really hard. On the face of it, this hotel has had a huge upgrade. I would say about 80% of it is complete. However, the basement areas are still pretty bad. The carpets down there are filthy. I know they're getting a paint job, but uh, I'm glad I wasn't put down there because originally when I booked and paid £69 for this room, uh, it was with a room with no windows. So obviously they're not putting guests down there. Well, they didn't put me down there. And before you ask, other people were upgraded as I was checking in as well. Now let's talk about the room. So there were a couple of problems. The bed was just very uncomfortable. The furniture again was that old chipped furniture, but the carpet was clean. The bathroom was clean. The kettle was clean. I was quite pleasantly surprised. Obviously the room is dated, the wallpaper is literally peeling off and people like to, for some reason, peel it off. Being this close to the construction though of whatever's going on outside, you do get woken up around about half past seven with all the drilling, which wasn't that great. One thing I did notice about this hotel was the effort that they've gone to to make it smell nice. They've obviously had issues in the past because these fragrant sensors were absolutely everywhere. And as I walked into the lobby, wow, the smell hit you. It was quite strong and overpowering, but at least it smelled nice. The skip outside with all the beds in it was a nice welcome to the hotel. Apart from the basement area, the rest of the hotel seems pretty nice. And I probably would stay in here again I just hope the bed would be slightly more comfortable. If you want to see more worst rated, and there are a lot of them, there's a whole playlist to go and check out just here. Do give the video a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and make a comment below, would you stay here? Make sure you give the video a thumbs up, hit subscribe. I'll see you next time.